Okay, today we're going to be looking at the art of monoprinting and uh, we're going to be using mark making, drawing onto our image, using different types of marks and beaming here. That's a sheet that students can be using, looking at using loops. Uh, there are other various marks, rhythmic, uh, cross hatching, etc. etc. So they're the marks that are going to be used. I'm going to beam out here and just going to actually start putting the ink down but surprisingly the student put too much ink onto the perspex sheet I've used a tiny amount there which is the amount we used when we were painting almost like less than a 2p amount and that will be enough cover the whole of the surface. Obviously what I'm doing is making sure that the ink is distributed evenly. The big mistake students make is that they put too much too much ink on. If you can see there. A tiny bit more. So if you put too much on, you get blotches appearing, indentations, the surface is slightly disjointed in terms of the proportion of ink going onto the monoprint. You can see here, gradually, flattening everything out so it's all perfect for the monoprint to go on. That's the thinnest possible layer possible there. That's that part done. Now what I'm going to do is take that away for a second and look at the drawing that we're going to be doing. Beam right in here. You can see some of the marks have already been made on the drawing. We're looking at following contour lines here as you can see at the top uh, of the drawing. Looking at using the different types of line here. You see around here, we've got the contour lines curving around. Lines going across here also to denote the form of the area we're going to be looking at. Okay, uh, what I'm gonna do is beam out again a little bit. And now what I'm gonna do is carefully arrange for the boot to go onto the surface that we've already pre-prepared, like so. So what's going to happen is that we're going to be pressing down, let's go in a little bit more, and we just start to draw. The biro and the force of the biro will go through and the ink will come out on the other side. So what I'm doing first of all is using some dark black and marks here, going over the drawing I've pre-done, and you can draw it naturally, you don't need to have a pre-meditated drawing like I've got here, it's just for the demo purposes, but as you can see, using the bio to press down and follow those lines here. Now the lines which are further away will be lighter, and the lines which are nearer to you, like these ones here, will be slightly darker, giving a sense of depth. I'm going to beam out and basically look at... Let's go out. Drawing the boot in its entirety. Over here, where we've got a design. This part is going to be pretty dark, maybe in a sense here, doing some cross hatching. Now underneath, the ink has already stuck to the paper, so there's not an issue here of the paper being moved. It's almost like glued down with the ink underneath it. And as you can see around here, this part for instance, inside the boot, I'm gonna do slightly lighter lines and darker around here. 
So what we've got already is a sense of depth. The areas on the outside of the boot here, being nearer to us, are darker. So these light lines here, creating three-dimensionality also. Now artists like Tracy Emin, Paul Klee, uh, Degas, all did monoprinting, would have recognised different values of lines and marks as we've been looking at earlier on to define the form. Also, not afraid to apply tone where it's needed. Now down here, for instance, these are going to be really strong directional marks as you can see on the stud around here again dark areas be very aggressive with your marks here since they're nearer to the eye as well don't be worried about producing lots and lots of quite aggressive directional marks directional cross hatching item of the boot, it's part of the boot is much much nearer to the eye level so it's got to show that through its form. Again you can see there boot's been drawn in these these marks here these directional marks can be aggressive can be stronger at the tip of the boot here and as, you, as they're going away can you see slightly making them lighter and smaller so you get the sense of turn of the boot and they're also following the contour lines which we've been working on for some time to make the drawing 3D again here. So boot slightly further away, these lines cross action here slightly lighter as opposed to these lines coming down here. Now the good thing about a monoprint is that it's a very, very quick way of creating new media. And as I said before, some of the better monoprints are done naturally. You can just draw straight out, uh, keep the freshness of the line. I mean, here I'm going over lines, which have already been pre-drawn, and maybe it doesn't have the freshness of life drawing. Again, with the stitching, dark marks here. And as it goes into the middle boot, getting slightly lighter. Further away they go. Some students can look at the progress of the drawing by lifting up the monoprint. You can do that. You can also do that to show the areas which you haven't tacked. In this case, I've not quite done this part around here. Just checking. Again, using strong turn directional marks to show the actual three dimensionality of the boot itself. going to check down here just to see that pretty much almost there the light tone under here I'm just going to skim very very lightly so it's a thin shadow but the boot and the studs are actually going to take the center stage because they're darker and around the lace here again making sure that we make this appear it's quite dark because it's the nearest point to you a little bit shadow or so
And so when we take this away now, we should see the formation of the boot. So I'll turn it around. You can see some of the uh, wonderful marks which have been created by using the monochromatic monoprinting technique. Okay, that's the end of the demo.